My excitement about genetics started at the University of North Carolina in a two-week series of just six lectures given by Professor Neil Kirkman. I was hooked. He brought patients to class, a patient with sickle cell disease, a child with Down syndrome, a person with neurofibromatosis, and he explained how simple changes in DNA could result in these outcomes. And I felt this must be what my calling is because it fits so well with my desire to be studying things that were about information, digital information, that's DNA. After the success in finding the cystic fibrosis gene, which I did with my colleagues at the Hospital for Sick Children, it was clear to me if we wanted to see this succeed for the thousands of other genetic diseases that were still waiting to be uh, figured out, we had to have the genome better laid out. We had to really understand this instruction book and even to have a copy of it that we could read. And that was the motivation for the Human Genome Project, which at that very time was beginning to gather steam. And by 2003, it was done. That reference sequence of those three billion letters was available to everybody. And all those searches for the causes of genetic diseases were getting massively accelerated. Another thing I've been able to do is to bring industry and academia and the government in a partnership called ACTIVE, accelerating COVID-19 therapeutic interventions and vaccines, ACTIV all gather together around the same table to say what are the things we can do together and that has made it possible uh, to do things in terms of vaccines and treatments that simply have never been done before like this that's one of the joys i've had as an nih director is to be a convener of collaborations and that really can make things happen at a pace uh, and with the kind of excellence and scientific rigor that needs to be brought to bear when you have a challenge like COVID-19. I'd like to give a big shout out to the state of North Carolina and particularly to the University of North Carolina for the incredible gift I received of spending eight years there. I left as a fully trained doctor of internal medicine with a passion for genetics uh, ready to go on and take the world and see what I could do uh, to try to make it a better place. I will always carry in my heart a uh, deep affection for the people of North Carolina and a gratitude for the way in which they gave so much uh, to me and my family uh, to get us started into a direction that has turned out to be pretty amazing.